If you've been following along in the previous videos, we've been looking at aggregate expenditures. We started with taking aggregate expenditures and plotting them as a function of national income. We then broke that down and looked at the parts of aggregate expenditures, C plus I plus G plus X minus I M. And for each of those parts, we found a formula. So for example, for C, we found 5 plus 0.6 Y. This told us that we had autonomous consumption spending of five and that for every additional dollar of income, households spent 60 cents. So we had a marginal propensity to consume of 0.6. We then found investment spending and we found I equals 75 for our example. And that tells us that investment spending is autonomous. It doesn't depend on income. It depends more on things like interest rates and expectations about the future. We then looked at government spending, and government spending we found was also autonomous, and for this example was equal to 160. And that's because government spending does not depend on the size of the economy, it depends on the priorities of those in power. Is there focus on stimulating the economy, slowing down the economy, paying off debt, balancing the budget, what is the focus? That's what's going to change government spending, not the level of income. So we had C and I and G, and then we found X minus I M. So our net exports formula was 60 minus 0.1 Y. And from there we found that we have an MPM of 0.1. That is for every dollar of income, 10 cents goes to import spending. And since import spending is money leaving the country, it's a leakage, that's why we have this negative here. Well, ultimately, we want to find aggregate expenditures. Aggregate expenditures is total spending. It's C plus I plus G plus X minus I M. So we can find the formula for aggregate expenditures by adding up these four formulas. To add four formulas, we want to take all the numbers in the formulas that do not contain a Y. So 5 plus 75 plus 160 plus 60. If we add those four numbers together, we get 300. We then take all the numbers that contain a Y. So 0.6Y minus 0.1Y. 0 0.6 minus 0.1 is 0.5. This 0.5y, the slope of the aggregate expenditure function, is the marginal propensity to expend. This says that for every dollar of income, our economy collectively spends 50 cents on itself. Well, how is it possible that the economy is spending 50 cents when households are spending 60? And that's because of this 60 cents, 10 cents is leaving the country in terms of import spending and so is actually being spent on other countries' goods and services, not our own. So for every dollar of income, we're spending 50 cents on our economy. So here we have our autonomous spending and our induced. And if we go back to our first video, when we graphed aggregate expenditures, bit of a slow computer here, so if I can get it to go back to our original graph. We found that the aggregate expenditure function was 300 plus 0.5y. So when we plotted the data originally, we found a formula of 300 plus 0.5y. We have now just gone full circle and ended back at that formula by adding up the consumption spending, the investment spending, the government spending, and the net exports.